हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई नो दैट यू आर टू मच फैमिलियर अबाउट एनिमल्स यू नो डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स इन योर प्रीवियस क्लास आल्सो यू हैव लर्न अबाउट डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स वाइल्ड एनिमल्स पैट एनिमल्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल लर्न अबाउट एडप्टेशन ऑफ एनिमल्स हाउ दे लीव वॉट इज देयर बिहेवियर ऑफ फूड ईटिंग this type of things we will see here chapter number 4 adaptations for survival in animals just like plants and animals also live in a variety of habitats habitat means habitat is the area or environment where an organism normally lives or occurs In fact animals also live everywhere on the earth all places on the earth do not have the same kind of conditions and all conditions do not favor for the survival of animals animals have thus developed different features which enable them to cope with difficult situation of living the process is called adaptation and we can say that an adaptation is a change in structure function or behavior by which an individual improve its chances of survival in a specific environment means if we want to live in a better condition we have to adapt the environment if animal want to live in that particular area they have to adapt to that environment the animals that adapt to their habitat or environment survive the ones that are not able to adapt die and slowly become extinct if the animals are not able to live in particular area they may be die or extinct adapting to a particular environment is not a one or two day process it takes over hundred and thousands of years to happen Let's learn how animals adapt themselves in different way to survive. Now we will see here adaptations to habitat. The next point is adaptation to habitat. Habitat is the natural home of an animal. Like we people also live in our house, same that animals also live in their particular area that is called habitat for them. habitat provides food water and shelter which an animal needs to survive there is a variety of habitat on the earth animals can therefore be grouped as terrestrial animals aquatic animals amphibians aerial and arboreal these are the different kinds of their adaptation first we will see terrestrial adaptations the animals which live on land example dog cat horses lions are some terrestrial animals they have the following adaptation features their nervous system is well developed they have their sense organs they are having four legs they can walk jump and move on land or to hunt and defend themselves exception like snake do not have legs but they possess scales or plates which enable them to crawl they have lung to breathe they can found on desert also animals living in cold regions like yak and polar bear have a thick skin layer with fur on it to keep them warm some of them like penguin seal have a thick layer of fat under the skin called blubber that helps their body to keep warm animals like bear and frog become inactive and sleep for several months in a cold condition to protect themselves from cold this is called hibernation or winter sleep some are the example of terrestrial animals you can see picture here that is snake camel and here polar bear these are the example of terrestrial animal now we will see the next one is aquatic animals 
aquatic animals you know that the animals which are living in water the animals which live in water are called aquatic animals aqua means water example fish sea horse octopus are some aquatic animals here you can see one picture of this fish so these are the example of aquatic animals most of the aquatic animals we will see here some adaptation the like uh, fish having fins or limb to help them to swim aquatic birds like ducks and geese have webbed feet to help them push water back while swimming most of them breathe through gills that aquatic animals breathe through gills exceptions like whale breathe through lungs because whale is a mammal some of them have a thick layer of fat called blubber under the skin to keep them warm and help them to float now the next one is amphibian amphibian are the animals that can live on land and in water both example frogs toads and newts are some amphibian they have the following adaptation they have limbs to facilitate swimming some of them have webbed feet tails and helping in swimming they breathe through their most skin when they are in water on land they breathe through lungs here is one example of you can see frog the stoat it is a amphibian animal now our next is aerial aerial animals are the animals that can fly birds and insects are aerial animals they have adapted to their environment in the following ways their forelimbs are modified into wings they are having wings or feathers for that with the help of that they can fly their body is very light and their bones are hollow their body is narrow in front and broad in the middle this shell this shape help us them to cut through air and fly easily here we can see the aerial example that is butterfly and a sparrow now the next one we will see that is arboreal arboreal animals are the animals that live mostly on the trees the animals which live on the tree it consists arboreal monkey flying squirrel chimpanzees are some example of arboreal animals they have the following adaptations they have a strong and stout chest hip girdles ribs and limbs to provide the necessary support while climbing body structure is special their feet and hands become adapted for seizing grasping or holding objects because they are because of that grasping power they are able to uh, hold their fingers and thumbs are shaped in such a way that they can hold the branches firmly very often their tails also become adapted for grasping or holding the branches of trees while climbing so here we can see one example of arboreal that is this chimpanzee we can see that is the example of arboreal animals so students in this topic i hope you have understood about the adaptations they are type terrestrial aquatic amphibian and aerial here we can see this web chart by this you can understand properly like classification of animal on the basis of habitats first terrestrial example is lion aquatic example is fish amphibian example is toad aerial example is parrot arboreal example is monkey you can take some other example also there are so many different types of animals which are including as a example but here some example that i am telling to you so i hope you have understood about this adaptations for survival in a an animal and this type of adaptation terrestrial aquatic amphibian aerial and arboreal so students read this chapter and try to understand and find out your hard words you have to learn there and students next topic we will discuss in our next video
थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे